Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter. Check it out, we're back in the studio and I've got a beard. And today's video is going to be a DIY project. I love building things to solve problems. And one of the problems I have is that I love using my iPhone for video and photos. I've been using it more, it's a great little tool, but a problem I've been having is I want an easy way to charge my phone, but also plug it into my computer. When you charge with the AC adapter, your phone charges faster, but it can be a real hassle to unplug it from the AC adapter and plug it into a computer. And some of you are out there are probably saying, why don't I just leave it plugged into your computer? Well, the problem is every time I plug my phone in, iTunes, photos, capture utility, all that stuff pops up and it wants to do things with my phone or it tries to update, it's a real pain in the butt. So I decided to build an import power toggle switch. This switch is going to allow me to leave my phone plugged into one lightning connector, but I'll be able to switch between AC power and connecting it to my computer. Let's go ahead and jump straight into how I made this and what you're going to need. Here's what you're going to need for this project. Two USB male cables, one female USB cable. You'll find links to all this stuff in the description. One screw terminal for PDT toggle switch. We'll talk about why in a second. And finally, a box to put all this in. It could be made out of wood or anything. I just use one of these project boxes I bought at a local electronics store. The first thing you're going to want to do is cut your USB cables. These are old cables that I already had lying around. Do keep in mind you want your cables to be long enough to reach your computer and your AC outlet. I already had USB extension cables in place, so I'm just gonna have nice short cables. Next, go ahead and strip the cables. When you strip this, I'd recommend stripping the outer sleeve a lot more than I did here because we're gonna want nice long internal wires as we'll see later. You should find some foil wrapped around the internal wires. Go ahead and remove that. There might also be some aluminum insulation. Once you have all that stuff removed, you should be left with four USB internal wires. There should be a red, a black, a green, and white wire. And here's where it gets interesting. The red and black wire are your power, your positive and negative. Your white and green wire, those are the data wires, so positive data and negative data. Now, when I was starting this project, I was hoping I could just split those two so I could send the two power cables over to the AC outlet and then the two data cables over to my computer. Then I could just throw a switch on the data cables and turn on and off when my phone connected to the computer. This works for really simple devices like just charging a battery or powering an LED, but for some reason the iPhone wants all four wires connected and you have to switch between them. So here's a diagram of what we're trying to accomplish. We want to completely cut off all four wires from the AC outlet and then completely turn on or switch on all four wires going to the computer and be able to easily switch back and forth. And that's where this cool nifty little switch comes into play. The switch itself isn't simply an on off switch. There's actually an on and off and another on. So the center of the switch is off and then the top and bottom are on. If we flip the switch over, the way this is designed is the center four screws are your in, and then the four screws on the left or top, and the four screws on the right or the bottom are the outs. This can also be reversed. So the idea is we have four wires going in, and then two outputs that we can switch. If all this seems complicated, don't worry, I'll show you exactly where to hook up all the wires here in a little bit. So now let's go ahead and take our three USB cables and go ahead and strip those four internal wires. If you have a wire stripper, this makes this job a lot easier. Once you have each wire stripped, go ahead and twist the ends together so they're nice and clean. And now we get to move on to preparing our enclosure. Go ahead and grab your switch and take off the washers and the nuts. So make sure there's nothing on that little thread by the switch. Next, we want to find a drill bit that is the same size or a little smaller than that threaded post on the switch. Next, take the faceplate of the project box or whatever box that you're using and drill a hole for the switch. 
you really want to make sure that your hole is the same size or a little smaller than the switch because we need to be able to secure it from the front. You'll see in a little bit. I only had imperial bits, so I ended up having to use a knife and some little files to kind of make the hole just the right size. Once you have your hole just the right size, go ahead and fit the faceplate on your switch and then throw the washer on the front, followed by one of those nuts. With help from some pliers, you should be able to get this nice and snug. I'm going to be using my switch horizontally, but it may be different for you. With the switch on the faceplate, now let's prepare the back plate. So this is the larger section on the back. I'm going to drill three holes, one for each of the USB cables. Try to keep the holes as small as possible, but still large enough to fit your cables. Now let's talk about how we're going to wire this thing up. Essentially, what we're going to do is have each of the male cables on the outside posts. And these center posts are going to receive the female cable, which essentially is our phone. With this setup, we're going to be able to switch which cable is connected to the phone, so our outlet and our computer. Next, go ahead and wrap your wires together and stick them through the holes on the back plate. With that done, it's time to wire up our actual switch. So here's essentially what we want. We want the male cables to be on the outsides and the female cable wired to the center row of screws or terminals. You do want to make sure that you line up the color. So you can see here all the reds, blacks, whites, and greens are lined up. That way when we switch, it doesn't get all tangled up or short anything out. This is the most tedious part of the project. Once you're done, it should look something like this. And with all the wires hooked up, gently get the plate nice and snug and pull the wires through the back. Your project box should come with four screws, so you can go ahead and screw it in place. And now we have a beautifully completed little switch box with our three cables coming out the back. There's several ways to attach your box to your desk. You could even have it on top of your desk, wherever you'd like. And then to actually attach it, you could drill holes through the back plate. But I decided just to use liquid nails. You could use super glue. There's lots of different ways you could pull it off. If you're not going to use a quick setting glue, make sure you clamp it down until it's dry. While my box is drying, I went ahead and drilled a hole through my desk. Yes, this might make some of you cringe, but I like the idea of having my cable coming through there in a nice clean look. Finally, you can use a label printer to create little labels or leave it blank. And now for the moment of truth, let's see if it works. So there you have it. I'm very happy with uh, this little toggle switch. It's been working great. And who doesn't love switches? If you can put a switch on it, do it. And I hope this video also gave you some other ideas on how you can use a switch like this. I know a lot of people have used this switch for audio equipment, even using it to change thermostats in your house. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, obviously subscribe. You'll see a lot more content like this. Also, please consider using my Amazon and B&H links when you go out to buy gear. That really helps me out and keeps these videos coming. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys next time.